Golfing World caught up with one of the LPGA's brightest stars in Henderson, Nevada, at the Green Valley Resort and Casino. It isn't just through luck and good fortune that Natalie Gulbis remains one of the biggest names in the sport. She's developed a keen eye for business around the game, and her innovative approach includes hosting sponsor summits, which all help to keep her career moving forward. Sponsors may be forgiven for thinking that with this glamorous golfer, they've hit the jackpot. I have 14 marketing partners, and I have some great companies that I represent, and uh, what I really hope to accomplish by this is just to build relationships. I mean, I have great relationships with my marketing partners, but you know, to have them work together, and since a lot of them are involved in the golf space, really to um, you know, introduce them to one another and allow them to brainstorm and share ideas. It's a fine networking opportunity on both sides, and her sponsors relish the chance to be involved. The LPGA is the longest running women's sports organization in the world, and they've got a global footprint that is unrivaled by any other professional sports league. Natalie is the strongest brand ambassador uh, that any company could partner with in the women's golf space because she gets it. She's very attuned to the needs from a business and marketing standpoint of her partners. She's very outgoing. She certainly resonates with the fans of women's golf as well as sports fans in general. And she's able to marry all those things in a really powerful way that helps companies achieve their marketing objectives and again, just builds her brand awareness day in, day out. Well, Natalie, she's just a, an, an ambassador to the game of golf. Uh, she works really hard for, for our brands. I mean, today, just take today, for example, the fact that she's bringing together her largest corporate partners together to talk and strategize on how to make 2011 a better year. Just that alone shows why she benefits us. But this venture isn't just about business. The summit also provides Natalie with an opportunity to build support for her favorite charities. Through the LPGA, I got to do some things with, with the Boys and Girls Club, and I really fell in love with the organization and really believed in uh, their mission and what they were hoping to achieve. And so I wanted to play uh, a bigger role with uh, the Boys and Girls Club nationally and also locally. And so I've been able to do that here in Southern Nevada with the Boys and Girls Club and just you know help them raise awareness and, and be associated with them and do events. And hosting a charity tournament at a home course is merely the tip of the iceberg. Natalie has come into the clubs to interact with the kids and she actually took them to Lake Las Vegas one time to go golfing and so for them you know the stereotype for golf is kind of you have a higher income and so these kids don't even really know what golf is but to have somebody of Natalie's caliber and someone who has self-respect for herself and is so actually making something of herself it's nice to have the kids with that um, type of advocate. The first LPGA player to descend from Latvia Natalie knows her golf is key to success in other areas without a win since the 2007 Evian Masters she's had a difficult 12 months. 2010 was probably my toughest season on tour. I had back surgery in January, and as I was recovering from that, so I definitely got off to a slow start. I picked up a little momentum in uh, the middle of the year and started playing better. And But my number one goal this year was just to get through, so I was able to do that, and I'm excited to be healthy for 2011. You know, I like to take a little bit of time away from golf, and something like this is, is great for me to get involved with my partners and do some more work with my charities, and. It's holiday time, so enjoy, enjoy the holiday season and time with uh, friends and family too.